Hey there, welcome to Century Mailbag. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Anyways, for Valentine's Day, administration decided to hand out candy to all the faculty members for all their hard work and dedication. Isn't that nice, Will? Sure is. They give us the candy, we get to put it in their mailboxes. And that was their last mistake. Because we're gonna eat it all! Let's answer some mail. And since today is the love episode, Aww. Will has convinced me to answer some relationship questions. I'm so excited. All right, let's see what we have here. Dear Century Mailbag, me and my boyfriend have been dating a while and I recently stole his only sweatshirt. I kind of feel bad about it, but I also really want to keep it. What should I do? Well, I think there's a compromise. How about you cut off the sleeves, you can wear them as leg warmers, then you can give the rest to your boyfriend. Sharing is caring! Dear Will, can you help me find love? From Miss Nemeth. Sure! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Make a Date. Let's meet the wonderful Miss Nemeth. Now, let's meet our very handsome contestants. <laughs> Our first contestant is a very popular art teacher here at Century, Mr. Reaver. Where am I? Silly Reaver, I just explained that part. We're on, let's make a date. I have a wife. <laughs> well, too bad, we needed contestants and you were walking through. I like fish. As do I, as do I. Well, now it's time for Miss Nemeth to ask her first questions to our lovely contestants. Bachelor number one, what's your idea of a perfect date? Casey, I work with you. You know I'm married. I've met you before? Um... Nope! Not so fast, Mr. Reaver. When you try to escape, that means you're forfeiting the match. And when you forfeit on Let's Make a Date, you're exterminating! Whatever. That's right. You'll be married tomorrow to a hobo we pulled off the street. <laughs> Dear JP and Will, I'm getting really tired of all the dumb nicknames people give to their significant other. Can you give us some new ones? <laughs> can we? We can make a whole top five. Number five. <clears throat> You're my little bank account. <laughs> Number four. You're my sweet eggplant. <laughs> Number three. You're my furry gerbil. <laughs> Number two. You're the fly upon my excrement. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid of what number one is at this point. Number one. You're my pygmy marmoset. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for today. And from all of us here at Mailbag, see you next time.